So a couple of things before we start the video today, I want to go ahead and say I'm using a wise lavalier system. I'm still trying to figure out the trickiness as far as getting really good audio for YouTube and everything like that. So please excuse me if it doesn't sound the best. I typically use the Comica VM30 or some kind of other microphone or whatever for the shot, but I want to use a wireless lavalier system to explain stuff throughout the video. So again, please excuse me if the audio doesn't sound good. I am not good at you know EQing or doing stuff like this. I don't know how people can get their audio to sound good, especially in an unsounded treated room. I still don't know how people are EQing microphones, but. With all out of the way, I do want to go ahead and specify that we're going to be talking about using the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II or any camera should you be using HDMI over USB. And the studio view probably already know I've covered this in a previous video, but apparently I didn't make it clear enough to people in the comment section. They're telling me that they don't understand after watching the whole entire video. I never really answered the question, should you be using HDMI over USB? And I'm pretty sure if you watched like halfway through the video, like towards the end of the video, I literally explained why you should not be using USB over HDMI. And even in one instance in the video, I literally said you paid a thousand dollars for the body alone of the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II just to hook up, up a USB cable. So again, why are you, you getting a thousand dollar camera? You can get a USB webcam or something like that, or get the Mark one if you wanted a camera because you wanted that depth of field or whatever by putting an actual lens on it. You should be using the HDMI port. For one, you can shoot and color picture profiles and stuff like that. I do not have a like actual USB type C cable that's going to allow me to do 4K 60 or whatever through you know my cameras or whatever. So I wouldn't be able to test the actual quality of the cameras or whatever going through that because again, you need an actual specific USB cable. And the reason why I never picked one up or don't care to is because I can get a long HDMI cable and you can probably see it right here going into the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II and I can do unique stuff like having this shot, having my top down, as well as going over here and talking. Now, all this is done by a stream deck that I have over there on the desk, but when you use cameras like this, typically you can get something that's called a video switcher. And because if you use the video switcher, you can have multiple HDMI signals going in. And that's usually only useful, yes, to people who have multiple cameras. And I completely understand if people don't have multiple cameras for whatever reason, maybe they only have two if they're going to the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. But chances are somebody's been waiting on the Sony ZV-E10 Mark I and they realized that the Mark II came out and now they're wondering if they should upgrade to it. Then yes, if you're gonna be that regular person that's just gonna have a PC and a camera right next to it and they occasionally stream or wherever and they just want to take the quick release plate put it on a tripod thing or whatever attached to their desk you know stream over there and then quickly take the camera off and go record and stuff like that then by all means you can use the the usb uh, i would say port or wherever because you're you can get the small like actual usb cable that is required to fully you know optimize the actual capability of 4k 60 throughout the camera but i am telling you right now Everything is being recorded into OBS right now. My PC is way over there on the other side of the room and I'm pretty much almost touching the wall behind me or whatever with this camera. I seriously doubt that you can find a USB cable that's going to be that long. And even if you did, chances are you're going to have to use like a USB extender or something like that. And chances are that USB extender is probably not going to be as rated as the USB cable. So you're probably not going to be able to really truly stream at 4K 60. Not only that, I don't know why everybody is so you know hyped up and want the 4K 60 because the only platform out there, at least at the time of recording, that will possibly allow you to even get 4K 60, let alone 4K, is YouTube other streaming platforms out there such as Twitch or Kick or wherever are trying to make implementations to be able to even just to get to 4K resolution. So again, it's up to you. Maybe people are going to use it to record their videos or wherever. Maybe they don't care about color grading. They're just using the camera into intelligent auto mode or something like that. There's a myriad of lists of things or wherever. And like I said in my previous video, if you're using it in a pinch, for whatever reason, and you want to use the USB because maybe it's sitting right next to your MacBook or something like that, or you're right at your desk and you're recording or something like that, 
then by all means use it. But if you really want to be creative, because again, you paid a thousand dollars for your camera, you should be that type of content creator who is looking to evolve and uplift their content to the next level. You're not gonna do that by just shoving a USB cable into your Sony ZV-E10 Mark II and just recording into your PC or wherever. You're gonna have to do diverse content like I'm doing right now. And I have a camera or wherever that's usually over there for streaming. I'm able to you know, hook up all this stuff wherever through HDMI or like I said, getting a video switch or wherever and swap through wherever and make engaging content and do whatever I need to do wherever to get my job done as a content creator. That's why I would go with the HDMI port over the USB. Not to mention all my stuff is already color graded because I'm able to use filters within OBS or wherever to apply LUTs and stuff. And yes, you can do that through the video capture of source or wherever, because when you plug it to your, your camera, to your PC, it's gonna be recognized as a video capture source. All right, so Future Squid here, I wanna go ahead and specify and make it very clear because apparently people still don't understand it. The fact of using the USB port is a gross misuse of your money if you're purchasing a $1,000 camera and you're trying to use the USB port. For one, like I said in my previous video, you need a very, very specific USB cable that's going to allow you to even hit 4K or even 1080p. Not only that, your computer is going to have to have a specific USB port anyways that's going to allow that kind of data to go through. And all that could be negated by getting a little capture card or wherever. Again, you can get 1080p 60 frames per second capture card for very cheap or wherever that's gonna just do better or wherever than the USB cord. Or you can upgrade to something like the Elgato 4K capture card or maybe potentially another 4K capture card out there that's gonna be under $100. And the reason why I'm saying that, and I'm gonna put the footage up on screen during this portion so you can see for yourself, you cannot enable color picture profiles while using the USB port. You cannot use S-Log3 or HLG3 or any other color picture profiles or anything like that while USB streaming. And if you're picking up, like I said, a thousand dollar camera just to use the USB port and shoot in intelligent auto mode and change a couple settings or maybe shooting in no color picture profile with manual exposure and all that stuff, what was the point? Seriously, I, I don't understand how these people in the comment section and people cannot understand this. Like I said in the previous video, what is the point of getting a thousand dollar camera just to put a USB cable in it just to stream? Again, like I've said before, you can get a hundred and something dollar webcam that does 4K 30 and essentially do exactly what you're doing with your thousand dollar camera. Oh, but Squid, I want to put a lens or wherever with the low f-stop so I can get background blur so I can get nice streams for my Twitch and all this stuff. And I'm I'm just going to tell you straight up, no, nobody cares about if you have it or not, whatever, the background blur or something. You know what I'm saying? It's just you want it because you don't have it. And like I said, if you're not going out vlogging, doing structured content on and as far as long form content or video form content, and you're just live streaming to Twitch, YouTube, whatever, you can get by with this uh, 4K 30 webcam or wherever. That's $179. The on's about tiny too light. If you don't want the gimbal and stuff for whatever reason, then you can go with the likes of the E-Meet uh, S800 or the Onsbot Meet 4K, like 150 to $100 or wherever for a camera and be perfectly fine just live streaming. You don't need to get the camera with the lens and all that stuff like that and paying $1,000 just to do that. Learn to color grade, learn to apply LUTs and stuff like that. Learn to actually use your camera and be creative with your content. Don't waste your money or wherever and then have to get a actual specific USB cable and then you don't even get access to most of the features that you would get a camera for in the first place. Like it just, let me, let me stop. Let me stop because people are, people are going to argue with me in the comments and say that I'm being mean or wherever, but it's just the truth. It's just, use common sense, man. You're just using a USB port for 4K 60. You can get a 4K 30 webcam for $179. Essentially, that's what you're doing. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And if, unless you're getting, like I said, a video switcher or you're getting, you know, multiple little capture cards or whatever, that's why I recommended, you know, the little um, $10 capture card or whatever, because essentially nine times out of 10, people ain't gonna do stuff like this. They're gonna do the boring, I'm gonna stick my USB 
USB-C cable into the camera and use it that way and record videos and stuff. And like, I'm not trying to knock anybody's way of doing content creation, but I'm like I've said in my previous video about making expensive, uh, taking expensive gear and using your money correctly towards that expensive gear. Like sometimes it makes sense to get that expensive gear. Sometimes it makes sense to get the less expensive gear, knowing how to use your money or whatever, doing right money management and not purchasing something that would be a gross misuse of funds. In my opinion, if you're picking up the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II just to use a USB Type-C port or wherever, just to get the 4K60, that is a gross misuse of your funds. It, it, it really is. That doesn't make any sense to me on any logical scale. And by me saying that you should be using the HDMI port or wherever and not using the USB port on it, and telling you that you paid a thousand dollars for your camera, all that stuff or whatever, and telling you all the things that you could do with the HDMI port in that last video. And I'm still having people sit here and saying that apparently I didn't make it clear. I literally told you all the capabilities, again, what you can do with the HDMI port and why pay a thousand dollars just to use a USB type C. It's there more so for transferring files and stuff like that, being easy to connect or whatever and is there for a pinch so you don't have to have you know a hdmi cord and stuff like that it's there for people who are maybe on the go with a laptop or something like that and you know they're out shooting already and they need to sit down and have somewhat of a formal business maybe a meeting or wherever somewhere out and about or they're traveling or something like that and they can have a single little cord going to their laptop you know what I'm saying? But if you're sitting in your YouTube studio, you're already streaming and stuff like that, you're making YouTube videos and everything, it makes no sense to pay a thousand dollars just to have 4K60. And like I said, most platforms out there, the big popular ones, I know there are other streaming platforms out there, but to my knowledge, the only one, I could be wrong, but the only one that I know that allows you to do any kind of 4K streaming is YouTube. And nine times out of 10, if you're trying to grow, like I said, as a content creator, you should be looking to do the stuff like I showed off in this video in order to grow as a content creator. Cause your audience is gonna be like, oh, that's really cool. I, I, I like this content or whatever, not just doing what everybody else is doing, sitting at a desk and be like, well, you know, and like I said, these, these cables or wherever, these HDMI cables were in the Amazon storefront in the link in the description, you know, in that video. And I'll leave it linked in here. But if they went and looked at the HDMI cord that's in that, in, in that the Amazon storefront, they'll see how long it is. You know what I'm saying? And yes, the USB capture card or wherever that I talked about that was, you know, $10 or wherever in there, it only did 1080p 60, but that's fine. Studies have been shown more time and time again, and people have said this more time and time again, you could do your own research and find this out. Most people are not able to truly look at 4K footage in the first place. So there's really no point to make your videos 4K. There's really no point to have the 4K 60, especially if you're game streaming, which I'm just gonna assume based off of the profile pictures and how people are wording stuff, they're probably gonna be game streaming. Your camera is gonna be super, super small. At that point, your lens and lighting and stuff is gonna be more, more I would say, important than, oh, I'm streaming at 4K 60. I like, what, what, how many situations are you going to find yourself in to where the USB port and having 4K60 is actually going to make sense? That's actually going to be a viable option. I just, I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused on, on, on people, man. And like I said, I'm not trying to be rude or bash anybody or bring them down or wherever or insult their intelligence because, look, I don't like it when people insult my intelligence. But this... This is on another level. With that being said, if you found this video informative, helpful, or something like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'll let me know also in the comments down below how did this audio sound. And again, I want to stress the importance of doing your own research, understanding the capabilities of your actual camera or whatever equipment you're getting, and making sure that you're spending your money where, spend your money wisely. You know what I'm saying? Do your research.
and on top of, on top of that, if you're game streaming, vertical streams in a vertical format, like you would see on your phone, has been on the rise and been the more popular way of getting exposure out there and letting people see your content. And it has been a better experience for people to grow as a content creator than doing normal, I would say, style content as far as like streaming. So yeah, you can do the 4K60 all you want. Just, he just wasted a thousand bucks. But hey, you might got it like that. I don't know. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.